the look on both of these guys' faces tonight is on a different level of intensity to what we are used to seeing even from them. Oh, and rims first into that steel barricade and Kirby spills into the live audience. Hendry's going to follow him. Uh, Hendry is splitting those crowd barriers to make sure he can uh, send Kirby. Yeah, we're going to need to stand up. Follow here. Kirby, rather, and he's now trying to... I don't know where he's going to send him. They are out in the crowd. Our camera crew obviously trying to do the very best they can to uh, keep his guy. A big chop there from Joe Hendry. And well, I'm surprised, to be honest, that Hendry walking back out of here. Or maybe not. Well, no, Henry's, I think he's taking a run up. Kirby is planted on a chair here. Oh, Kirby moved no. out of the way. And then, rather, he planted the elbow right into the jaw of Henry. Got off the seat at the last possible moment, did Kirby. Henry reverses the Irish whip and Kirby into a pile of steel chairs. Well, this isn't good, Dave. I mean, you and I often don't agree on anything, but you have to say the level of violence we're going to see for one man to say I quit is incredible. So Kirby now back in control. He's bringing Hendry back around to the... Uh, well, he's still in the crowd, though. I thought they were coming back to the ringside area, but he's trying to trying for a pile driver oh. countered into a backdrop by Hendry. Well, I tell you, Dave, if either of these men is willing to say, I quit, it's, it's going to, they're going to say it through gritted teeth. There's no way they're going to do it willingly. I've got Hendry! Oh. Hendry flying into the chairs! And it's absolute carnage here. Yeah, this is dangerous. I know everyone comes here to have a good time, see some great wrestling, but this is this is beyond the pale, as you said. This is going just too far. Oh, Kirby has someone's drink here. It's like a bar brawl now. Oh, come on. Come on now. Oh, my God. Insult to injury. Beer flying everywhere. Well, I did say I was thirsty. And now Kirby is trying to strangle Joe Hendry. It's a wrestling match or an assault. Kirby's going for a suit onto the onto these chairs in the crowd. Oh my God! Hendry with the reversal and Kirby suplexed onto those chairs. Might be about to get worse because look at this. Kirby has brought not one but two steel chairs into the ring. Look at the look of fear on the face, the upside down face of Joe Hendry. Yeah, this isn't a good situation for Hendry. Henry, Henry! Wow! Oh, what is this? Oh, Henry, Henry, a big run up. Henry takes a run up. Henry takes a run up. Oh, Henry! Oh. Henry! Send head first into that crowd barrier. That is very, very reminiscent of what happened to Martin Kirby back in April 2017 in Coventry. Well, you remember the concussion problems that Kirby suffered. Wait a minute now. Come on. I know there's no rules, but there's no reason to put your hand on the official there. Martin Kirby is uncaged. Well, Kirby has some uh, unresolved rage at Steve Linsky as well. Linsky was the referee on that day in April when, oh. after Hendry repeatedly focused on the head after injuring it. Yeah, well, Kirby focusing was, on the leg. It was, it was oh. Linsky, who, uh, Linsky who called that match off for the world title. But meanwhile, look at this. Kirby is now taking the fight to Hendry with that steel chair. And every blow is focused on the back of Joe Hendry's leg, and you see the pain etched across his prestigious one's face. Kirby, come on. Gonna try and stretch that leg even more. Look at the pain on the face of Hendry. A figure four leg lock around the ring post, for goodness sake. You think a normal figure four leg lock is bad enough, but you add that steel ring post into the equation. This has to be excruciating for the prestigious one. Uh, Kirby finally breaking the hole, but the, the damage was done. And oh no, he's got the chair again. That leg, oh, Henry moved. And that may have been the only thing yeah. that kept Hendry in this. A lucky escape there God. for Joe Hendry. This is unbelievable. There's a, a desperation DDT. One leg. Hendry with the DDT on one standing? leg. into the chair, a taste of his own medicine for Kirby there. Yeah, but you got to think about the concussion history of Martin Kirby. You take the emotion out of this situation, which I know is very difficult, but again, this is human beings we're talking about. 
Do I've been worried for both these guys. Uppercut after uppercut after uppercut by Hendry. Kirby has been rocked here. Hendry will try to the freaking leg. He's on one leg still. He's only got one wheel. There's no way. He did it. Hendry. The freak of nature. What strength. What balance from Joe Hendry. Well, Jim Cornette once coined the phrase that Joe Hendry was a freak of nature, which is why that move is called what it is. We just saw firsthand why Cornette was so impressed by Hendry. What is that? That is... Is that a kosh? It's oh, like, well, Kirby has history with one of those oh, weapons. Kosh, that could break a leg. That one single strike could break the leg of Joe Hendry. This is almost like symbolism from Kirby. All the frustration built up over the past two years with Joe Hendry is spilling out. It's evil, Dave. That's exactly what it is. Not just with Hendry either. Yeah? That kosh was used by Will Ospreay on Martin Kirby a long, long time ago. And clearly, Kirby taking out every frustration he has oh, in his on. time in defiant here on Hendry. And now, what is this? Get in there, Linsky. Come on, you can't let this happen. But, uh, well, Steve Linsky needs to... He needs to think about stopping this. He's going to end a career here. If people can see what they want with Joe Hendry. But... Oh, my God! He's a human being for crying out loud. And a second time, stop it! Stop it! Well, Hendry's eyes are crossed. Come on, referee, stop this. Going to the legs. This time, he's a sharpshooter. Oh, he's it's a variation on the sharpshooter. And an ankle lock. Those Look. two moves combine, and there's no escape. Look at Kirby's face. Sheer, unadulterated hatred and evil. Pure malevolence on the face of Martin Kirby. Joe Hendry, he, he needs to think about his career here. Oh. Another grapevine applied. Think of your career, Joe. Come on, please. Live to fight another day. Swallow your pride and give up. Joe Hendry says, hell no. Forget that. Wars his own name. So look at this. So, so clever from Kirby, cuts Hendry down. I can't believe Hendry's lasted this long. Martin Kirby screaming at Hendry to give up. Referee Steve Linsky. He's going to pass out. Asking Hendry again. Hendry's going to pass out. No way he can sustain this. Hendry is trying, still trying, somehow to battle this. I can't believe what I'm seeing. How is Hendry still in this fight? How long has he been in that hold now? Oh, and he's Martin Kirby again. Just stops the, the fire, puts stamps out, almost literally. Hendry and Linsky face to face, and Hendry gives up. Hendry gives up. Martin Kirby wins the ice win match. My God. and means he used to achieve that victory well, were frankly deplorable. Hang on a minute, Joe Hendry knew exactly what he was getting into. You have to do anything it takes to win a match as barbaric as an I quit match, but I have to agree with you, some of this was calculated by Shaw. Kirby knew exactly what he was doing with the steel chair, the posh, everything. Look at the look on that man's face. This isn't Martin Kirby that we know. This is a different, different man. Uh, let's not take anything away from the performance of the prestigious one, Joe Hendry. What an incredible, courageous effort, especially in the second half of the match when that leg was damaged. But ultimately, Kirby cut Hendry through such an, an inhuman amount of torture that Hendry had no option but to give up. It was cruelty, that's what it was. Sheer cruelty from Martin Kirby. Joe Hendry almost stayed in the fight, but in the end, Kirby's the winner. Wow. A shake of the head. Surely no more punishment. Come on, you won the match, Kirby. Kirby is staring at Joe Hendry as Hendry tries to battle his way back to his feet on that bad leg.
totally sick. Oh, we need some help, Kevin. We need more than this. Sorry, we need more than this. This is a man possessed. This is disgusting. Get more help out here. You're going to end his career. You're going to end his career. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? There is no word adequate to describe the depths to which Martin Kirby has plunged here tonight. Well, listen to what Newcastle thinks about it. Oh, come on! You don't need to spit on while he's done. Come on. This is too much. Uh, I never, I never ever thought we would see this from Martin Kirby, even against someone who despises as much as Joe Hendry. We need paramedics out here, and, and fast. Kirby, thankfully for everyone involved, has left the scene of the crime here.